guys, it's your girl Aisha aka Geek XX Chic, and I am here with another reaction. This one is to the trailer that just dropped for Deadpool 2. Now we had an earlier, a trailer dropped earlier this year, but it was actually what they called a teaser, and I believe that this one's also considered a teaser trailer as well, but either way, it's lovely that we're getting a little bit more of a taste of what this new movie might be about, maybe, maybe because the original teaser trailer actually didn't give us anything about the movie. <laughs> it was just kind of just a reminder of why we loved Deadpool's character in the first movie. So this one might be in the same vein or maybe we'll actually get a little bit um, of story. Either way, I'm pumped because I loved Deadpool. I love Ryan Reynolds and I know this movie's gonna be dope. So without further ado, let's get into this trailer. Okay. Hello there. Welcome back. Hi. I'm glad you could join me today. Let's just drive right in and run all the colors across the screen that you'll need to paint along with me. I have my regular old canvas here, wet and ready to go. Now, let's grab our trusty two-inch brush here. Whack that off real good. Just beat it like it owes you money. We're going to get a little dab of our yellow snow here. We're going to mix that with just another little dab of our Betty White. Now, let's just... Dance in a happy little sky. Now remember, this is your world. You get to make and break the rules here. <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus. Wish I could jump in there and roll around in all that cascading white powder. Wow. Yeah, just get high in all of life's splendor. God, I love cocaine. What? So much. <laughs> Holy fuck knuckles, what? I am high as a kite right now. Okay, let's paint in a few little happy trees there. Nice. Nothing wrong with making friends with trees. Mm -hmm. Now, what you don't want to do is eat these paints. Trust me on this one. All right, I'm going to whack off again. Okay. That's right. That feels good. Yeah. Would you look at that? It seems like we have ourselves a finished painting. I want this poster. So from our family to yours, keep your pants dry, your dreams wet, and remember, hugs, not drugs. Okay. I feel like I didn't have time to react to that. That happened so quickly. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, in true fashion of Deadpool and Ryan Reynolds, there had to be some sort of hijinks and tomfoolery. And of course, the throwback to, um, oh God, I wish I remembered the name of that show, but there was that painting show with, like, I know his name was Bob, that's all I know. And yes, he used to sit there and make it sound like it was so easy to just grab an easel and a paintbrush and just paint and like, yeah, he would like paint masterpieces in what seemed like two minutes. And meanwhile, if you actually were trying to follow along, it looked like a child's finger painting. But anyway, this is what I expect, right? Just a really weird, random thing that's laced with innuendo. I feel like Ryan Reynolds probably ad-libbed probably, if not all of it, 80% of it. Uh, and of course, just a really, really, really quick flash of the actual like trailer, the action. Um, just kind of going through again, because I went by, the actual trailer part of it was really fast and I'm sure that was on purpose, but I just want to go back to the actual flashes in, in the trailer here. So Negasonic Teenage Warheads there, a kid who can set fires, another kid breaking in, and a fake funeral. That was a lot going on right there, but obviously there's going to be some more action, potentially more mutants. I don't think we're going to see anybody notable, even though the last trailer kind of teased at the idea that maybe Wolverine could be a part of it, but I really don't think that that's going to be a mashup we're going to see anytime soon. But um, it was fun. It was totally what I expect from Ryan Reynolds and, and this team. I'm feeling like that having a director leave halfway through, or not halfway, but that early in the film and having to find a new one and everything like that, 
it probably set everything back quite a bit. They may not have a lot of footage yet to show for a full-fledged uh, trailer, and we still don't have a date either so those two things are a little bit disturbing but either way i know this is going to be a fun ride and i know it's going to happen and i'm just hoping that they take their time to make sure they they put out a really good sequel because deadpool was fantastic it was so good and i know that's a lot of hype to live up to but you know i just want them to take their time and really do a great job with this because again this opened the door for all kinds of new uh a whole new genre of, of Marvel movies that were a little bit more adult and a little bit more grown up and I don't want that to go you know away because Deadpool 2 doesn't go as well as the first one did. It also hasn't escaped my notice that the drop of this trailer on the same day that Justice League is opening in certain places, uh, coincidence? Yeah, I don't think not. <laughs> Marvel stays, stays stepping on the neck of DC. Every time DC's like, hey, look at our shiny new movie. It's a big one with all of our big heroes. And uh, yeah, Marvel over at Fox is like, hold on, just give me a second. Just hold this. Uh, we got a trailer for you. Anyways, that's the trailer, guys. What did you think? Are you still hyped to see this movie? Do you think this trailer teaser was a good idea? Or do you think they should just wait until they can actually give us a fully baked product? Please leave your comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you want to see more from this geeky face, go ahead and click subscribe. Until next time, see ya.